Yeah, it's obviously great that we were able to win both games to, to start out the season. I think uh, if you look at last night's game, uh, the positives that you can really take out of it is the way we played in the last two periods. I think we only gave up, you know, 11 shots and, uh, you know, only living into them to one one goal after that first period. And, uh, you know, that's the way we got to play if we want to have success. So obviously, you know, there's still 80 games left. There's still uh, a lot to improve on. There's still uh, a lot we can get better at. And uh, But in saying that, it's nice to, to start out the season, uh, you know, up two games. Since you've been here and even when you signed here, you've had high praise for Connor. Uh, through a couple of games, and particularly last night, you know, the kid's bleeding and he got an embellishment penalty. He seemed really sort of involved vocally. I wonder if, if you're starting to learn a, a thing or two as you play alongside him and, and be his line and teammate. Yeah, I, I think you can't underestimate his competitiveness. Uh, obviously, he he wants to score, and you know he's shown that in the in the first two games here that uh, you know he he's he's going to get his chances. But also, he's got that competitive side to him where you know he wants to win, he wants to play the right way, and uh, you know he's he's willing to do whatever it takes to to step up for his for his team, and uh, you know, that's why he's a captain. You know. I was impressed by him just seeing him play last year and now being his teammate, I'm even you know, more impressed by him. So, like I said, you know, it's just two games and, and obviously things get tougher as the season goes along and I know he knows that and I know he understands that, but you know, we need to, to make sure that we keep improving as individuals and, and as a team and to continue having the, the same success that we had in the first two games. Yeah, they're they're all really yeah they're all really different. Uh, all the centermen that I've played with, uh, even going back to to Mark Savard, you know, uh, all those guys, you know, they have all really high skill set and they have all uh, unique styles. And but I think uh, you know Connors is is his speed and his, uh, combined with his skill is something I don't think. Uh, people have seen in a, in a very long time, and I think that's what's uh, that's what makes him such a such a unique player, and I think that's what makes him such a great player. And um, you know, it's a lot of fun to to play to play with a guy like that. So, uh, like I said, it's been it's been fun uh, playing the way we have so far throughout the first two games, and uh, I know we want to want to keep getting better as 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 the season goes along, and. You know that he's going to lead the way and be ready to play every game. And for myself being on his line, I got to make sure I'm on top of my game to to not slow him down. So, uh, you know, that's the mindset moving forward. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> sort of just give him the puck, just give him the puck, and then he makes something happen. So it's uh, it's been great playing with uh, with both those guys. So uh, again, we just gotta we gotta gotta stay sharp and stay on our game. Yeah, uh, played played a much heavier game, you know, in the corners, uh, puck protection, and you know, uh, really establishing that zone time uh, with the way he controlled the pace of the game. And uh, you know, obviously, he's a special player, and he's won two cups. And last year, he got some awards to go with it, individual awards, and obviously, he gets rewarded with a much deserved contract the way with what he got. Uh, you know, last season. So, uh, again, two completely different players, but two very highly skilled, uh, you know, big time players. And, uh, you know, it seems to work for both of them your, so your far. First goal probably going to be a tip in or a rebound or something. Most like likely. I just got to keep driving the net and hopefully it'll get on my stick. Well, I'm All right. looking at tomorrow and say who's losing Kane and Eichel. How, how do you guys look at them? Do you not try to take them lightly? Uh, yeah, you know. No matter who they have in our lineup, our focus needs to be on ourselves and what we need to do and what we need to keep improving on. Obviously, you know, it's the NHL, you know. Sometimes it's harder to play, you know, when guys are, are getting a chance to play and to prove themselves in this league. So we definitely can't take that team lightly, no matter who's in the lineup. And like I said, we just got to focus on our game and, and keep improving on that.